Hey, what's up? This your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about Pop Smoke. Now, the late, great Pop Smoke was a New York artist, and I should say Canarsie section of Brooklyn art artist, and dude was well on his rise to being a superstar in this rap game. Now, in February 2020, we lost Pop Smoke to some senseless gun violence, a home invasion robbery where he was in Los Angeles, and his dwelling or the place he was living in at the time during his visit to L.A. got ransacked by some hooligans who held him up at gunpoint and ended Pop Smoke's life. Now, there's been a lot of crazy stories about what took place. I know P&B Rock, he came up with his own story and said that, you know, that basically Pop Smoke was in a situation where he had fired back or whatever at the guys, but it wasn't that kind of situation at all, judging from the information we found out today. Now, it looks like with the court case going on for one of the suspects who's, you know, the oldest person in the case, it seems like more and more details have come to light. And they are gruesome to say the least. Not to say gruesome is like a gory movie, but just heartless and cold. And it'll make you look at this whole story a whole nother way. Now, before we get into the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. All right. Now that we got that out of the way, man, let's talk about this pop smoke situation just a little bit. Now, to be honest, man. If you're very faint at heart, you can't stand hearing people being extremely cruel or violent to somebody else when they're, you know, passed away or whatever. Man, you might want to fast forward a little bit in this story till we get to the court part. But as we go into the details, man, they're kind of cold and kind of, you know, heartless when you hear about it. Now, this is the news that came out in the court today. Now, one of the people who's accused of shooting and killing Pop Smoke is a gentleman by the name of Walker. Now, his last name is Walker. His first name is Corey. Now, he was in court today, along with one of the key witnesses who was a young lady that was actually in the home with Pop Smoke that night. That's something most people don't know about, right? Now, the dude who is on trial is the only person in the case that's above 18 years old and is actually looking at the death penalty in this case. Now, Corey Walker is 20 years old, and he's alleged to have been the, the chief suspect in the murder robbery that took place on the February 19th. Now, this is based on a story from the Daily News, and, you know, they're pretty good about their sources, and it seems like they're keeping track of this trial real well, man. I mean, I, I'm not trying to, you know, just give them super props, but it seems like they're doing a good, a good job. Now, the headline states this, Murdered Brooklyn Rapper. Pop Smoke was kicked on the ground after being shot, witness said, basically, well, it says witness, but it's what the witness said. Now, the story says this, says Brooklyn rapper Pop Smoke was taking a shower at an Airbnb in Los Angeles last year when mass men stormed through the curtains of a second story balcony an LAPD detective testified on Thursday. So today, an LAPD detective talked about how the robbers got in. It was always like, how did they get in? You know, Airbnbs are usually good on security. Did somebody disarm, you know, the, the home security system? Because in LA, it's a trend that a lot of home invasion robberies have taken place. A lot of break-ins have taken place in LA. It's just one of the number one crimes that they deal with because it's such a big situation of haves and haves nots. Now, I hate to look at the, you know, the microeconomics in this or the you know, how things, are, you know, play out as far as, you know, culturally between the, the broke and the rich. But that's a big part of why they have that problem. And it just goes without saying, right? So this detective said that they jumped through uh, through the uh, windows, basically, which is crazy, man. You know, I guess they climbed the windows and they just had a clue of when to be in there. I still get a funny feeling about this case, and we'll get to that later. But it looks like that Pop Smoke was taking a shower when they broke in. So he wasn't there, and then he started shooting, and they were shooting. It wasn't that type of situation. He was actually in the shower. Now, the story continues and says this. One intruder allegedly pressed a black semiotic firearm to the forehead of a woman who was with the Canarsie Bread entertainer in his bedroom that night while others rushed into the adjoining be uh, bathroom, Detective Christian Caruso says. Now... They went on to say that, the, well, they went on to say that they quoted him as saying, 
you know, shut up, told her to shut up, or if you don't want to die. And I had to, you know, I had to edit some of that because they used some colorful language. Then the heavily armed home invader allegedly shouted at the woman, the investigator said. Now, Caruso was the first person to take the witness stand at the preliminary hearing for Corey Walker in Los Angeles. That would decide whether the sole adult suspect in this case proceeds to trial. Now, Corey Walker is the gentleman I talked about earlier. Now, Corey Walker, 20 years old, has been charged with murder and robbery in the February 19, 2020 slaying of popular entertainer who was born Bashar Baraka Jackson. That's, that's Pop Smoke. He has pled not guilty and appeared in court Thursday wearing an orange jail uniform and medical mask. The woman who was with Pop Smoke the day he died spoke to police hours after the rapper was fatally shot in the torso during the 4 a.m. home invasion at the rented mansion in Hollywood Hills, Carusco said. Now, she heard a struggle coming from the shower area and heard Mr. Jackson screaming. Mr. Jackson ran out of the bathroom and then she heard a loud pop and heard Mr. Jackson fall to the ground, the detective said. Now, the two other individuals began to kick him, Caruso said, citing the woman's testimony. So stop there. So they shot uh, Pop Smoke after he's running out of the shower. And he's like, yo, man, there's people probably like, he's, you know, alarmed by people breaking in. And then after he's shot and he's down there on the ground, they started kicking him in the head. Man, what is up? This like, that's the... This is like the second time we've seen that played out. We've seen it played out in Nipsey. And there's something else that's going to be familiar familiar with the Nipsey case. We're going to talk about it in a second. Now, upon hearing her son was kicked, Jackson's mother, Audrey Jackson, who was present in the courtroom, shook her head and leaned forward, visibly upset. So, man, Pop Smoke's mom was in the court, courtroom when they talked about that. And, you know, obviously that's going to have an effect on a mom thinking that somebody killed your son, shot him. And then started kicking him like he was nothing, man. You know, that's 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 horrible, man. It's like, I don't know, man. They, they lack human, you lack human decency, you do something like that. Now, she stared intently at Walker as the detectives continued to describe what the witness claim happened next. Mr. Jackson, this is all in quotes, gets up and runs downstairs. She hears two more pops. The detective said on the witness stand, she follows Mr. Jackson, sees him on the ground, and screams for, for Michael, Dula Dora, to call 911. So I guess there was somebody else in the residence too, whoever Michael Dula Dora is. But then the woman told police she believed the men stole Jackson's large gold watch and other jewelry before fleeing. Now, I'm going to get personal here for a second, but I'm going to leave it alone because regardless, we see where the situation ended up and it's sad that we lost somebody great like Pop Smoke to a situation like this because it just seems like one thing is hate and then the other thing is crime. And when those two things combine, when you got a hater who's down to commit a crime, man, it's it's the worst thing in the world. Now, Pop Smoke in this article, they talk about the rest. They talk about the fact that his album shot to the top of the charts. And dude, I mean, that was one of the best albums that came out last year. Now, the most interesting part of this story is this right here. So it continues in this story and it says, speaking to the Daily News earlier this year, Walker's lawyer, Christopher Darden. Now, Walker is the person who's being accused of shooting and killing Pop Smoke. Christopher Darden is one of the ex-prosecutors in the O.J. Simpson trial. It even says that. A prosecutor in the O.J. Simpson trial in 1995 said he was a fan of Pop Smoke's music. Still, our position is that Mr. Walker didn't kill anybody, he said. Now, this is odd. Every time a rapper gets shot in L.A., it seems like Christopher Darden is there to work. I don't know. He's got to be working pro bono. Who's paying him? Uh, is the dude paying him? Like, hey, but let me rewind. Christopher Darden also jumped out and started to defend Eric Holder, who's responsible, who, excuse me, who's alleged to be responsible for shooting Nipsey Hussle. So it seems like Christopher Darden still got some heat for the hip hop world or the community or whatever you want to call it because dude jumps out there and defends whoever is accused of shooting and killing the rapper if it happens in California or LA or whatnot. You know what I mean? It's just a weird situation with that, man. I, I see obviously there's some pent up anger or something there and I don't know what to think of it. I just know 
that these rapping these rapper uh, situations like this, they seem a bit sketchy, man. And they have you they have you thinking a little bit, man. They have you wondering what was really behind all this because a lot of this just doesn't make sense, man. Now, what do you guys think, man? Do you think that the details that we learned today in the court case were just, man, too too crazy, man, as far as how they treated Pop Smoke after shooting him? Or do you think that, man, this is just a situation that plays out in normal life? And, you know, it, L.A., it's got a reputation for rappers going there and losing their life and stuff like that. So it's just what it is, man. Now, with that, this has been your boy. Also, man, I want to hear in the comments, what do you guys think about Christopher Darden always jumping out and defending the cats who, who took rappers' lives, allegedly, right? He seems like he's jumping on that wave every time, man. You know what I mean? Is that a coincidence or am I reaching? Now, with that, this has been your boy, Big Man. Do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace.